let the future tell the truth and evaluate each one according to his work and accomplishments. The present is theirs. The future, for which I have really worked, is mine. Every living being is an engine geared to the wheelwork of the universe. Though seemingly affected only by its immediate surrounding, the sphere of external influence extends to infinite distance. I do not think there is any thrill that can go through the human heart like that felt by the inventor as he sees some creation of the brain unfolding to success. Such emotions make a man forget food, sleep, friends, love, everything. Today's scientists have substituted mathematics for experiments, and they wander off through equation after equation, and eventually build a structure which has no relation to reality. The spread of civilization may be likened to a fire, first a feeble spark, next a flickering flame, then a mighty blaze, ever increasing in speed and power. In the 21st century, the robot will take the place which slave labor occupied in ancient civilization. The scientific man does not aim at an immediate result. He does not expect that his advanced ideas will be readily taken up. His work is like that of the planter, for the future. His duty is to lay the foundation for those who are to come and point the way. The human being is a self-propelled automaton entirely under the control of external influences, willful and predetermined though they appear. His actions are governed not from within, but from without. He is like a float tossed about by the waves of a turbulent sea. It seems that I have always been ahead of my time. I had to wait 19 years before Niagara was harnessed by my system, 15 years before the basic inventions for wireless which I gave to the world in 1893 were applied universally. The Secretary of Hygiene or Physical Culture will be far more important in the cabinet of the President of the United States who holds office in the year 2035 than the Secretary of War. The scientists of today think deeply instead of clearly. One must be sane to think clearly, but one can think deeply and be quite insane. As in nature, all is ebb and tide, all is wave motion. So it seems that in all branches of industry, alternating currents, electric wave motion, will have the sway. The newspapers of the 21st century will give a mere stick in the back pages to accounts of crime or political controversies, but will headline on the front pages the proclamation of a new scientific hypothesis. The harness of waterfalls is the most economical method known for drawing energy from the sun. Electrical science has revealed to us the true nature of light, has provided us with innumerable appliances and instruments of precision and has thereby vastly added to the exactness of our knowledge. 
Of the various branches of electrical investigation, perhaps the most interesting and immediately the most promising is that dealing with alternating currents. Like, share, subscribe, and click the bell icon button to stay connected with the real quotes.